Woodlawn Elementary School takes its name from nearby Woodlawn Mansion. In 1799, President George Washington gave some 2,000 acres of land consisting of farmland, meadows, and forests as a wedding gift to his nephew, Lawrence Lewis, and his bride, Eleanor Park Custis. Eleanor and Lawrence named their new estate Woodlawn and lived there for almost 39 years. The Lewis's mansion, completed in 1805, was built on a prominent hill which offered magnificent views of the Potomac River and Mount Vernon to the east. In 1846, merchants from New Jersey who supplied lumber to northern shipbuilders visited Fairfax County in search of timber tracks and purchased the Woodlawn Estate. Some of these timber merchants and their families settled in the area, dividing Woodlawn into smaller tracts of land. These families were Quakers, part of a Christian religious movement devoted to peaceful principles, many of whom were abolitionists and proponents of public education. The Quakers established and funded one of the area's first public schools, which they named Woodlawn. In 1870, the Fairfax County public school system was established in accordance with the new Virginia Constitution, and the Woodlawn School was incorporated into the new system. From 1870 to 1965, Fairfax County public schools were segregated by race, so the Woodlawn School only educated children from white families. The school was located close to present-day Talbot Farm Drive off of Route 1 which at the time was known as the Akatink Turnpike. The schoolhouse was, at first, a one-room frame structure and had expanded to two rooms by 1922. The rooms were heated by wood-burning stoves. During the autumn of 1924, one of these stoves overheated and the school caught fire while the children were inside. A history of the Woodlawn School records that a student stood up and calmly said, the schoolhouse is on fire. We had better get our coats and hats and get out. Soldiers from the Camp Humphreys Fire Department responded and managed to save the children's desks. The school was repaired and remained in operation until 1937 when the current Woodlawn Elementary School opened. The new brick building had four classrooms and was built at a cost of $36,144. Woodlawn Elementary has seen many additions and changes over the years. During renovations in 2015, the oldest portion of the school was preserved and now functions as a meeting space. The history of the early Woodlawn School for White Children is well documented and remembered. But there is less information regarding a second schoolhouse, also called Woodlawn. Very little has been written about this one because the historic African-American community it served was dislodged by the expansion of Fort Belvoir in 1940. In 1866, a public school for freed slaves, first called the Akatink School and later named the Woodlawn Colored School, was founded near the Woodlawn Estate with assistance from the Quakers and the Freedmen's Bureau. This school was located in the historic African-American settlement of Woodlawn, very close to the site of present-day Fort Belvoir Upper School. A second schoolhouse was built in the village around 1888. When village residents were forced to move in 1940, many of the children were reassigned to the Gum Springs School approximately four miles away. Today, Woodlawn Elementary School carries on the rich tradition of public education established by both Woodlawn schools. Its namesake, the Woodlawn Mansion, has been a site of the National Trust for Historic Preservation since the early 1950s and continues to be open for tours today. Visitors to the site can experience and contrast two historic homes. Woodlawn Mansion and the Pope Leahy House, a 20th century home designed by renowned architect Frank Lloyd Wright. Go to woodlawnpopelahy.org for more information. <music>